bit of leaking as well. All right, do we trust Winter in this <laughs> in this <laughs> matchup and analysis? We'll find out. I mean, I mean, listen, it's the best of one, so you're putting yourself out there. But we are waiting on that last pick coming in from Thunder. And it looks like Whoa, Magnus. All right, Magnus to round it out. So that's all 10 heroes selected. This is the last game of the day and the fourth and last elimination match here. In the Some crazy games. He yeah. was just free farm and then it, it was impossible to play against him. Every team fight, it seemed that Thunder as a team were just fantastic at sort of playing around him, making sure that Sala gets the chance to, to find himself in that perfect position and to find those centers. But early on here in game one, TPC. we are having this movement with this smoke. Ladder. Surrounding him. He'll find the Fisher, Ori, in with the Light Strike Array. They've got the follow up, they've got the surrounding. They turn to DDC and take him down. First blood for Paparazzi. And some int for the silencer. How the mid lane matchup goes. We have this Necrophos from Freeze being brought to the mid lane, but it's against Ori's Lena. And Ori, as, as sort of fire. a mid laner in terms of performances in 1v1s, I mean, this guy, he, he's beaten TAs in straight up 1v1s. He's won matchups that he just shouldn't. He has been that good. But bottom lane, DDC again, a second time. This time in the lane, they find him. 11 in return. One more touch will bring him down. Sala does get it. So they do find the trade down on the bottom lane, one for one. Freeze is now going to be. He's got to be careful. So in terms of the matchup, only a slight sort of CS advantage for Ori, but those extra denies have meant that he has hit six first. And Freeze has to respect the amount of burst damage that can come out of this Lena if he gets caught out by a stun. Bottom lane. See you again. The wraparound. DDC. They do find the stun out onto both of them. The hex as well. Straight up setting up for the kill onto eleven. Lanham trying to chase down DDC with the enchant totem and will find the return kill. They won't look to lead him for more. Lanham does find the Fisher. And TDC just able to get himself around the tip and back up to the high ground, back to safety. Top, they're still pressuring this tower. Paparazzi does not want to give Yang any mercy, but now Fenrir may have stepped up a bit too far as rotations are coming in. Let's see, Freeze. Looking towards Fenrir. DDC coming in as well. They've got the Reaper Scythe down as well as the stun. They'll take him out. He's gone for 15. They're falling low though here as Paparazzi still with that Tempest double doing damage. He'll look towards Yang Yang, able to skewer himself back to safety. Now, maybe which he's going for first after the Dragon Lance because he, he can feel it. He knows he the pressure's the coming in from yeah. VG Gaming. It is going to get to the point where he has to turn up to the fight despite as much as he wants to keep focusing on farming. He has to be able to deal with just the Yules combo. If he just gets walked up and Yules oh, done, then... Oh, quick. They try for the RP, but indeed the Yules straight away onto Yang. Yang now being focused, but DDC for the sideline. Comes in with a wraparound, gets the two-man stun, setting up Sila for the double kill. Only Yang to fall at the moment. The shackle shot from Fade comes in as Sila moves in. There's the Sunder, back up to full health. They find a third, they'll lose DDC. But a scary fight for Vici Gaming there, because that's Thunder turning up with Sila, and he's now getting involved in the action. You can get that blink up before the RP happens. Some situation. Thunder, they have meta up in 20, they're looking for something. Side here. Smoke's gonna wear out Yang. He looks to commit, but straight away the global silence. The Orchid comes out. There's nothing to follow at that RP as DDC already gets picked up on the back. Lanham echo. straight in with the echo. The Fisher follow up. He gets the lockdown on Silence. Silence puts the BKB, but can't get the Sunder off. They've lost two, they've lost three. They buy back on DDC. Fade's been spreaded out, cuts himself out with the power shot, but he's surrounded by the Triads. Double kill for 11. They clean up Freeze as well as VG Gaming crush the team fight. That's. It's exactly what we're saying with this Magnus, the jump in instantly counterplayed. A quick global. Not only that, he got orchided as soon as he jumped, the global comes out and also in the back lines, Freeze was in a perfect spot on the sidelines. Breaks the smoke, sees everything because they have that high ground vision that they placed before that fight started. Oh my and goodness. Just, look at that, you just see all the ulties being used yep. from Vici and they get a perfect fight. And that's why Echo. two minutes in, with this build from Paparazzi, they can put so much pressure on. Even up their position. Tower will go down. Eleven's able to find the deny. No gold. As Freeze and DDC, do they really want to try and make a go on Eleven? Eleven is sort of separated from the team, so it would not be a bad time to make a go, and they do. Straight in, the, the global silence is there, and that gives a chance for Eleven to put the BKB, turn around, and he goes at it he with the Orc, and he just takes down DDC. Freeze tries for the TP out, but the fish is there to cancel the TP. Vici Gaming now turning their attention towards Freeze. They'll take him as well. They, they couldn't kill Eleven. They saw a chance, but... Global silence. Global silence. Constant in power from Yang. He can farm. They... If the game goes on, you can expect to see this Terrorblade stay at the top. The problem is, though, the rest of his team will fall behind 
in comparison to sort of the even spread of farm that Vici Gaming's three cores have. And can he take it versus that tricore? Yeah, Yang does get the RP, well, but again, the global silence out straight away. The fish is out on two of them. Yang Lanham walks in, looks for the c control onto the back, just, but they don't need it. They find the Laguna. That's going to be Yang gone. The BKP is out from Sila, but he can't find a target. He has to try and retreat some out, but he's been used up. Ori with the setup into the life track where on the side. There's the, the combo. Lanham! Lanham's in with the Echo Slam. Gets the ball. Absolutely. Lanham. Oh. Just to really rub salt into the wounds there. Lanham cleaning up the team fight with that jump. As all the buybacks in the world. Come oh, out. they certainly do, but they're 14k behind now. KP though, we know how important it is for Silar and it's ticking down, it's down to six. And that was meta expended too, oh. just to kill that, to, well not just to, but to kill the Nature's Prophet. Looking for the big smoke oh, place. Find Ori here. Ori's a big one. Foul, that's a beautiful shackle. They use the global. Can they kill him a second? The team's responds. quite far away from Ori. Well, he's got the, the BKB. He is going to back off. Yang's got the RP, he'll use it. Tries to hold it on, see if he can get a bigger one, but just the one. That's going to be big enough. Or he's able to use himself up into the air, but there's the stun follow-up. They'll get Ori. A little was the Tempest double too, but that's a couple of big kills back-to-back. -back. Getting 11. The Vici Gaming have over Thunder's half of the map. It's very hard for, for Thunder to sort of leave the map, leave their base and, and look for those smoke plays without it being too obvious. Walk up this high ground, Lanham. They do find Lanham. Straight away with the shackle. The global silence does come out, but he's already got the metamorphosis off Scylla. Is it enough damage to find Lanham? He forces himself forward for the Invis. Lanham's able to get away with the Shadow Blade. He goes to see Yang. Jump in. He gets the RP on Ori. Ori's down. Top RP there from Yang. It's not a flashy one, but it gets the job done. He gets on Ori. They take the Lena out of the fight. Now they're looking for more. Fade tries with the shackle. Doesn't connect. Eleven will be able to walk off. But there, again, we're sort of seeing the, the pickoffs that they need. It doesn't matter if it's just one in the RP. If it's one of the cores, they know it's going to stop Vici Gaming for, from looking to fight. And Paparazzi. Oh, he's got the lead in. Fade. Blinks in. Gets the shackle. Can they bring the rest in in time? Yes, they can. Reaper Scythe as well. Paparazzi dead for 110 seconds. And let's look at Lincoln's finished. He's got it. Meta does end. That push. I smoke up. They're gonna look for a catch off of it. Have to watch out, Yang. Be so careful. I know there's no metamorph, so he's got to hit a big RP, and there is a chance to do so. No global silence. Bishop. That's a freeze. Ori, look at the combo. Pat Prassi sent the Tempest double in. They won't find the control, but they do get the burst on DDC. DDC's gone. Already the rack starting to be beat upon by the Tempest double. Ori has used the BKB. Light strike array down. There's the jump forward. Can he get the shack of the card? It's to the hex. Onto Fade. There'll be a buyback for DDC. Sila heads to the rear. Yeah. Oh no! He whips anyone. it. Doesn't grab anyone. Sila's got to be careful now. The BKB's worn off. The Linkers has been propped. He can set up the force. But Ladam in with the slam on top of Sila. Sila getting control of the little Yang. Sila gets himself onto the side. But Yang and Fade are down. They get the Reaper side down onto Ladam. But Ladam buys back immediately. Only three alive on Thunder. Can they hold the jump in from Paparazzi? Temp is double with the Hex. The Ori's going in deep. Ori loses the Aegis, but DDC gets taken down. There's a dieback on the Lion. Vici Gaming taking another set of racks here on this bottom lane. The as they get the control, the stun. Ori with the zap. There'll be a buyback from Freeze, but they've lost the bottom lane of racks. Lanham has another Echo. He's used the Refresher Shard. He's prepared. He's Only for a jump. Freeze and Scylla are alive to try and defend this. Freeze trying to go for Fenrir. Fenrir getting low. Fenrir will fall. But now Freeze, he has to be careful. Eleven actually getting beaten down by Silas. Silas in, but Eleven there's a slam again. Lanham straight in, looking for the angle. Silas still alive for now. Can he get a sender off? He can't. Silas down. Freeze as well. He'll get bursted. Silas buys back. But it's just Silas. It's just Silas. 20 seconds until Lion's back in. 20 seconds before Fade's back in. Silas getting jumped upon. Silas gets the BKB for the global arm to the BKB, meaning no sunder for Silas. Oh GG God. is called as Vici Gaming take down Thunder and knock Thunder out of the competition. Vici Gaming will move forward and boy did they deserve it here. Taking down one of the big sort of end bosses in China, the Silar.